today I get to become a god and evolve these dancing little naked humans into, well, something different. Well, actually, they're gonna stay humans, but I get to evolve their civilization. And my gods are kind of cool looking. Like, that's a giant ocean crab, and then there's a big swamp monster back here. And then this guy, of course, he's a giant rock man. He's kind of my favorite. So the first thing we're gonna do is slap down a little bit of taiga biome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is counting with Blitz. Thank you for joining me. Now, big stompy man's gonna stomp his way over here, then put down his fists and create some grassland with some trees that'll pop out. There's the trees, they're beautiful. Now, we do have two groups of settlers here, and our objective is to get one of them to kind of set up place. Let's confirm them right about here. Go, my little men. Walk your little naked bodies. Oh, that one just got clothes on. Over here. And then you can settle down and make up a beautiful house. And we'll put birds and animals and other fun things. Just like so. Okay, build your house. Can you can you build it? And just Yeah, there it is. Ash Village. That's a good name, because we're not gonna burn it down. Also, it seems like people are just magically generating clothes, which I'm fine with, because they might get cold. And they're gonna chop down some trees, and it's our job now to get them some food and some technology and of course some money. They're also expanding their borders out, so that's what this guy's doing. He's like, we're gonna build up this thing. And then as they do that, we're gonna give them fun things like carrots. And what else nice to add to carrots than a nice giant bunny rabbit. That'll be good. So I'll put some bunny rabbits down to get some food over here. The village is super happy and it seems to be growing. There we go. We're getting some food coming in and now population of two, very nice. Also, there's a person here, a geologist, who has a job for us. Add at least one geobiotica within its borders. And that's great, because the bunny rabbits like having a geo, so they can build burrows in it. So I'll just place down a rock right about here. And our rock god is gonna come over and stomp on it and make a beautiful rock. And that should upgrade our, yes, it's gonna upgrade our, rap, or our uh, roots and our vegetables. Neat. So our technology increases, we get some ex inspiration which we'll be able to use to upgrade our taiga biome even more. Mufflon foxes or copper. Interesting. So this is food, this is money, and that's like technology. Not gonna lie, I kind of like this because it also gives us blackberries and cranberries. But we can get black red-backed voles. I don't like voles very much, so let's go to the mufflon. Hey, little mufflons. You just want to grow right here. Not enough biodiversity to place them. Uh-oh. That's not good. They require five biodiversity. We only have three. So maybe I should put down some stoats. They're like little tiny critters. And ta-da, there they go. Yeah, that'll give us a little more biodiversity. And that gives us some more money, which is gonna upgrade our city, hopefully. Nice. Now the thing is, we might wanna wait to build out that biome in a little bit. And this biome over here looks like it's expanding too. Yep, they just expanded it. Okay, so we have two more things we wanna do there. We could also, we have that other civilization that we can plan out. So I might wanna give them some ocean. Should we build some ocean between this? Yeah, one, two, three, four. We'll do five oceans. Splash that water down, ocean god. There he goes. Okay, that's cool. So these guys can expand over there. I, I mean, I kind of want to place down more biomes here. We could do like a, ooh, here we go. Biotica depth high. Hmm. All right, we're gonna make a little desert next to the ocean. There we go. The desert has been planted. And then we could do some taiga next to it. All right, we'll stop over here, make some taiga, and then we have a little bit area that we don't know quite what to do with yet, but that's fine. So we'll probably be getting more humans. So let's get these guys to settle right over here. Oh, they're gonna walk through the ocean and get there. Guys, that's not how migration works. I guess we haven't evolved sharks yet. I mean, we could. We can evolve anchovies. We could also evolve sea anemone. Oh, neat, these guys have built up a great library. Huh. That's kind of cool. So we've given them lots of technology for some reason. They would like more money and they want 10 of the technology on the planet. Okay, we should be able to do that. I would like to fill out the desert biome with uh, with rocks and technology. Okay, so they're gonna expand over here. Uh-oh, some people have left Ash Village to find land themselves. Oh no. Okay, so I guess I will expand over here. Let's give us some more taiga biome all the way across. And a traveler ordered construction of a caravan cell. Whatever that, car, caravan serai. No idea what that means. Oh, it's that thing. It's this thing right here. 
Huh. So each unique desert biome within its borders gives 15 more money. That's good. All right, Amazonians, you, you're gonna plant yourselves here. And that's as far as we can actually make because the rest of our planet is pretty much claimed unless we go into the desert and ocean which we probably could do. Okay, so let's put down a cranberry here, and then next to the cranberry, we'll put down like another stone. Uh-oh, they're gonna claim that last little area for that city, which isn't the one I wanted, but whatever. Oh, the Temple of Huntress, interesting. Okay, so we have more cranberries and we have some other things going in, cool. And that's gonna give a little bit of more of the thingies over here, and that should level up technology a little. Good, five technology. And the other good news is we can actually upgrade these if we wanna use our Eon points, which we can do. And this is new. There's an animal booster over here. So if I put down, we could do the, ooh, this would be so nice to have. There's not enough biodiversity here, but if we put down some other, oh wow. Okay, sand cats and gerboas, that's for the, the desert. We can't go into the desert yet. Okay, so I'm gonna put down a fir tree. That'll raise my stuff a little bit. And then I'd like to put you down. Does that work yet? Oh, it did. Nice. We're gonna have the big muffalo. That's from uh, RimWorld, isn't it? Okay, for each unique undergrowth bio. Okay, so we have the trees. We're gonna get the big creatures. And let's try to upgrade these fellas. Maybe some, yeah. We'll put some cranberries down. This guy has got a quest for me too. What do you want, buddy? Add at least one, okay. We can do that. I'll just put down a rock over here. I feel like this is a pretty good town. These guys are super happy. We have fruits. That's tw plus 20% cranberries. We're getting so much more technology. Did we complete? Yep, we got your inspiration done. Great, do so which one do we wanna do next? I feel like working in the ocean might be a good plan. Let's try that next. We'll draft some ocean up. Ooh, manta rays. Okay, five unique animals. Surgeon, ooh, what is this? Okay, let's get, I think that fish is pretty. Oh, there's coral there too. And jellyfish? Oh, I can't even afford that one. Let's get the surgeon fish. And we'll do that as soon as they expand over here. It looks like we're expanding into the desert too, so that's awesome. Go little travelers. Get me some desert so we can put down those kitty cats. They were adorable. Oh, nice. We can make quartz in the desert too. Okay, so this is an animal upgrade. I would like to give it this so we'll do that Meow. <laughs> we're gonna have adorable little kitties nice some more biodiversity we'll slap the money back over there now we can put down some trees hmm I'm not sure what to put with it quartz maybe redstone or to power this desert up actually what does this city need more than anything it wants six prosper or 12 prosperity and six money we are at two money so we need more money. And you shall have money. Ooh, a time's come for a new era. That sounds cool. I want a new era. Oh, I got rank C though. Okay, we're going to the classical era. Interesting, nice. New forest wants to be populous globe. Okay, so we're getting a lot more quests now. These people are expanding into the desert again, which is awesome. And now they want at least 30 money on the planet. Ooh, a bonus to plants. Huh. Interesting. So these guys get a boost if there's next to the Baron, which is money. This one gets a desolate if it's next to an empty slot. So if we have some sort of plant here, that could be cool. I don't want that one. Okay, so a withered shrub would give us some biodiversity, but the pam fall, pam, the fan palm, can't words. Okay, if adjacent to a biome with base valuables, how about we do this one? Nice, and these guys are gonna start upgrading the ocean too. That's huge. And we got more of the desert over here too. So desolate and barren, we're gonna leave that slot open. I think we're gonna wait to upgrade this. Oh, you're gonna quest coming in too. Just kidding, I wanted to wait, but we're gonna get another inspiration. What would your request be? One biotica with a valuables yield. I don't exactly know what that means. Oh, the sand cat acts as a barren thing. Interesting. So the question is, can I place this down? And it's a kitty cat one again. The kitty cats also act as a barren slot, but I don't know if that's gonna work because it has valuables in it. Let's just see. Oh yeah, it did work, beautiful. All right, so let's collect another inspiration within the ocean because we're going there now. Coral rock, manta ray, more food, reef. Okay, we get pearls, hmm, I like that. 
And now over here, we can start working. There's the pearls, if adjacent to the coat. Yes, that's what we want. We want more money. Give me that sweet cash. Give me that sweet old money right now. Slap in those clams right down there. Beautiful. Some biodiversity in JV David Owens' locker. Nice, and it worked. All right, so that's the only place we can use that. Now, do we have enough biodiversity in Needlewood? We don't. Oh, because that's already over here. I didn't realize this was the same biome. Interesting. These people are also running backwards to collect pearls without clothes on. I don't ask questions. I don't really know what's going on. And I'm wondering if this, this counts as a gem. Okay, so let's see what kind of fish we can get. So each coral biome, if we have the surgeon fish or, okay. So let's put some anchovies in so we can get some food rolling. If we get some food rolling, then we can level up this town again to level four, and hopefully they'll expand out into the ocean. And speaking of expanding, this city needs to grow a little bit too. So let's get some more food in here. Put some bunny rabbits in. Do we want bunny rabbits? I feel like we might do better with these. Oh, this city is super crammed too. Like really crammed. I can't even do much with it. I wonder what that does. I was gonna put down a, uh, a tree over here because I thought that'd be cool, but I don't even know. It just goes to rugged, and now they just want to expand even more. Let's give them some empty, give them carrots. What happens if we level up these carrots too? Oh, great. Now there's a traveler here who's like, hey, add a, add a geode within the borders of that town. So I, I guess we could just kind of do this. <laughs> Sorry, trees. We don't really need you. And ta-da, trees are gone. Yay, exploits. We'll collect the inspiration. What should we inspire now? More taiga? Yeah. Now we have copper. Ooh. Ooh, there's birds. A ptarmigan. All right, we're gonna go with silver. It's gonna be a difficult one, but I feel like upgrading silver is gonna be good. This is where the game gets really interesting too. So I don't even know if we have many open spaces anymore besides desert spaces, which I should have probably upgraded instead. But let's grab this in here. There's not enough biodiversity. How much do you need? You need five? Wow. When this guy walks, it's just creepy sounding. I don't like it. Squish and squish. Oh, what was that noise? Something cool just happened. Okay. Oh, that guy was dancing. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put some uh, blue bead in it. I'm gonna change this one over to cranberries. Yeah, then we get field plants and fruits upgraded. Just want to do everything together. That's going to upgrade this. Beautiful. Get some good food here. Nice. We're going to expand in the water too, which I was really hoping for. As if we expand into the ocean, then I can put down more anchovies and that gets a schooling upgrade. Oh, beautiful. All right. Food booster. We totally want more food there. And I'm going to do it again. We're just going to go like straight up anchovy gold mine. Oh, another new era. Ha dang, my score was E, which is worse than D. Man, I'm bad. <laughs> oh no, the demo's completed. Oh, only a fraction of the game that comes out. In the full game, you can explore more features like the galaxy of life. Oh yes, giants, biomes, and strategy. Yeah, I feel like I need to replay that with uh, more of like knowing what I was doing. Oh, that's cool. Rayos 2, if you guys want to check it out, you can wishlist on Steam. Not a sponsored video, but there is that free demo right now, so. Thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, Injor, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Brit the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Magster, Ral, PC Engineer, Cigars Morex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless Games, Splatters X, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brad Dalton C, Scatter D, Grayson, Elvora, Zane W, Kyle B, Mr. Triple One, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, Nolan, Kyler J, Pink Tiger, Jaden A, Mirage, and Nitrox.